we all have been lifelong learners we all have achieved whatever we have achieved today is because of learning learning is a process which goes on till the time we are there in this world but have you ever asked yourself what kind of learning is more effective for you what kind of learner you are yes you heard it right today i am going to ask you how do you how do we make the learning process faster speedier more effective so that our students which is our viewers our subscribers you all how can you learn faster and recall better so that you can succeed in that qualifying exam or in that competitive exam now it's very very important for all of us to understand that all of us are not the same even our fingers are not the same they are different right the same way all of us are not the same so there is no one size fits all solution which exists in the market and which should be applicable to all of us because all of us are unique all of us are different genetically look wise morphologically every way so why our education process is not personalized why we are not studying science in a scientific manner these are the few questions which i would like to answer in today's video watch on let's start with the first thing types of learner scientists have defined there are various types of learners and they have categorized into three different types the first one is a visual learner the second one is a audio learner and the third one is called as a kinesthetic learner now a visual learner is someone who sees and remembers a audio learner is something some, someone who will just hear and he'll remember just listening helps him remember and the third which is kinesthetic learner is somebody who needs to do some kind of activity just like how we're doing right now these kind of activities helps him or a different set of activities helps him remember better recall faster so this is how scientists have defined all of us into three different categories of learners now the problem begins when we all are following the same general tools for studying and learning now remember i told you one size does not fit all in learning because we all are different we just showed you there are three different types of learners and that means the general tools which are applicable are not sufficient so let's see what are the general tools available for all of us the first tool is your school or college or university or in our case coaching now of course you can go to a class and you can study then you need books so we'll have printed study material the books then nowadays because of corona of course all of you are online so we have online study material yes we do have that you can study online or the coaching can also be taught online so that is where you watch videos right now let me tell you very quickly that watching a video and learning is not a kinesthetic way of learning or a visual way of learning it's a passive learning because you are not doing anything the teacher is teaching and you are just listening so it is still a auditory form of learning okay a visual learning would be a little different a kinesthetic way will be totally different but what we are presented with is only these tools but when it comes to exam of course you have to write some exams after studying so what happens you practice questions and that is where the test series or question bank or what not there will be a lot of general tools available for all of us but that is where the challenge begins nobody is looking at how you should study what kind of learner you are but you are being prescribed the same medicine again and again but if you are prescribed the same medicine and again and again it is not going to be effective 
Now let us define your study process. Now, no matter what kind of learner you are, you all follow the same study process. It's in general, okay? Now, the general process is the teacher will teach you, suppose for three hours in the class, you will go to a class, you'll listen to a lecture, three hours. No matter whether you are attentive or not, the teacher is going to teach. Next, you will make notes. You will study and make notes. Some people make notes while they are in the class. Some people make it afterwards. That's up to you. But self-study plus notes plus notes making is equal to six hours. So suppose you, the teacher taught you for three hours and then you are going to study on your own and make notes for the next six hours for the same concept. Then because you have a test series and of course exams are coming. So what you'll do? Solve questions. Okay, so now we have studied, you have made the notes, you remember everything, then you solve questions. Happily, you remember everything on this date. But after a few months, you'll start forgetting. So what would you do? You will revise. You'll revise, say, two hours per month. So every hour, every month, you will take out two hours to study this concept. But the challenge begins after this. The challenge begins when you are going to write the exam because you are not going to write the exam. Your memory, your brain is actually going to write the exam. Your teacher is not going to write the exam. Now your brain can store five to seven petabytes of memory, storage, but sadly it cannot retain longer. So anything which gets into your long-term memory can be recalled faster. Something which is in the short term, short term memory go, go, vanishes like water, okay? It just evaporates. So in that case, what do you have to do? What is the challenge you are facing? So you are sitting in the exam, you are seeing a question and this is what you have to do. Now you have to recall this concept in record three seconds. This is a challenge which all of us face. No matter what kind of learner you are, you are following the same process and now you're faced with the same challenge. Now, since you didn't pay attention to what kind of learner you are, you are facing trouble here. And today in this video, I'm going to show you how can you solve this problem forever. Recalling is essential. Recalling is the key. Recalling in those three seconds will decide whether you qualify the exam or your friend does. So, what kind of solution I'm going to show? A form of that solution we launched in the year of 2016 and that we called it as Conceptica. Now let me make way for Conceptica. Now what really happened in Conceptica is we created a book which contains only flowcharts and very short form notes. Now, Conceptica is a book and a volume of two books, thick books, which will, which will have almost every concept for, available as a flowchart. Now, what we saw there was huge success. Students loved it. All the students enrolled in our coaching. They took up Conceptica as uh, free study material. They studied and we saw excellent results. You all know the results of Biotechnica. And that is where it's side our mind. Pictorial memory. The visual learners are more. But we all are being taught in an audio way. The teacher says and we say, listen. That is where we have to change the way learning happens. So visual learning became a strong concept during Conceptica. Now what happened in Conceptica is, Conceptica is a huge volume. So there are like, you know, thousand plus flowcharts in there. Became very difficult for people to you know, revise through thousand flowcharts. So we came out with a lighter version of Conceptica. We called it as Conceptica Light. In the year of 2020, we came out with this Conceptica Light. Now, what exactly Conceptica Light is? It contains 100 flowcharts, okay? So it contains 100 hard copy flowcharts. As I speak, it is available in Biotechnica store. You can order your copy today and it reaches you in seven days, then you can study from these flowcharts and these are only important topics, okay? So before the exam or hours before the exam, you take the flowcharts, you go through it and the visual memory gets rejected and you remember it better. 
Now, conceptical light again utilizes the same concept, which is visual learning. Now, visual learning is something which most of us are, audio learners, almost all of us are, but the problem begins with kinesthetic learners. Kinesthetic learners need more engagement and they need to do a lot of activity. And in fact, most of us are a mixture of all the three, wherein somebody is more of a visual learner, less of an audio learner. Somebody is more of a kinesthetic learner, but less of an audio learner. This is how we are. And that is the reason we realize that we have to still solve the three seconds problem. I call this as a three seconds problem because it happens to every student, but sadly, nobody talks about it. Nobody talks about the challenge which a student faces. Everybody says, hey, revision, you do it revision, you will remember, right? But nobody is talking that, hey, I am a different kind of learner, so I need different tools. I need different ways of learning. And that is what Biotechnica understands. And that is the reason we came out with our next product, which you have seen already, I believe. And ladies and gentlemen, presenting to you, let's make way for Concept Cloud. Now, Concept Cloud is exactly something which you saw throughout this video. Now, what did you see throughout this video is words. Now, in the beginning of this session, I showed you these words and I've been talking, but by just looking at these words, you will recall whatever I talked in this video. Tell me, am I not right? If you just look at these words, you'll recall whatever I spoke in this video, as simple as that. And that is what Conceptica Cloud does to you. Conceptica Cloud changes the way you recall because it is just words. I'm going to show you a demo of that, don't worry. Now, the moment you see a word, it starts sparking in your subconscious. What exactly I studied here? What was this? And then you try to recall. And when you try to recall, it starts moving from the temporary memory to the permanent memory. Recalling is the best way. But we don't recall often. We think that revision is how we recall. But actually, recalling is a different phenomena altogether. And that's what Conceptica Cloud does to all of us. So let me now show you a demo of Concept Cloud. Now, remember, learning is a different process. So what should we do? We should try to make it different and interesting and better better for all of us. We have to make it engaging. We have to make it enjoyable. If the learning is not enjoyable, you will hate it. And that, my dear friend, is a challenge. That, my dear friend, is not going to help you remember better and recall faster. So now, let me show you the concept cloud. Now, as you can see, concept cloud here, let me just put it on a stand. Now, let me take out one concept cloud. So this is from unit one, molecules and their interaction. And the moment I see here, Ramachandran plot. So the moment I see this, my mind will start recalling what exactly I studied here. What is Ramachandran plot? I'll try to remember everything about it. And if I'm not able to, I will try to go back to the books only then. And also I can, this is, there is a blank uh, canvas here. You can write your own notes here. So suppose when you are studying glycolysis, when you are reading glycolysis, if you are not able to recall, you can always go back and check it out. So this place we have given you for your rough work. Now, if you closely look at this concept cloud, it has been designed in a very scientific way. It has got different colors. Each word will come out in a different way to you. And now what really happens here is suppose it is Ramachandran plot. So when you see Ramachandran plot, you will remember it. You'll recall it better. When you see Krebs cycle, now all of them are in different font sizes as well. The reason they are in different font sizes because even though they are more important than other things, which is most important is in a bigger font, in the biggest font, which is least important is in a smallest font. The same way we can go ahead and try to pull out some other cards. Okay, so this is a card from cell communication and sig signaling. So what is important here? Okay, integrin is important, cadherin is important, cell junctions are important. 
So the moment I say sales exemptions, you will try to recall it. Same way, there are more than 60 cards available for all of you to study from. Now, these concept cloud stacks are available on Biotechnica store. The link is given in the description. You can quickly order. If you are already enrolled into our coaching, then you can always upgrade your coaching by, uh, to a concept cloud package. Or you can also, uh, if you are a new student, you are going to enroll, you can talk to your admissions manager and they will check out if you are eligible for a free copy of concept cloud. Whatever it is, our aim at Biotechnica is to make sure that we make studying easier. We want to make studying enjoyable and we don't want revision to be a speed breaker. We don't want you to use the same old tools and technologies which everyone else is doing. We want you to succeed and your way of success is unique and different because you as a student, as a learner is different. So welcome to Concept Cloud, my dear students of Biotechnica. I welcome you to enjoy this process of learning where you realize that learning is not a burden. Learning is a process which if done scientifically can help you achieve greater heights, better heights. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you soon in the next one. I hope you enjoyed. Do like, subscribe and comment in the comment section. We would love to know your views and know how we can make our products better. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.